is round winnings round two um, of top 64. Wildfire going up against, wait, winnings round one of top 64, Sharp going up against mm -hmm. Wildfire. And Sharp has been playing a lot more Cloud recently. Yeah, I mean, Sharp has been playing a lot of everything, if we're being real. We saw Sharp go on some runs with Sephiroth, uh, need mm -hmm. we remind you. So, and makes you wonder what the uh, future holds for offline, considering the uh, how good that character is supposed to be as we go to Pokemon Stadium 2. But nevertheless, going to uh, go with the former soldier himself, Cloud, up against Robin Wildfire. I mean, if there's one person who can probably tip the scales against the character Ooh. as good as Cloud, it may well be this one, but Sharp going on the offensive quickly and Wildfire being brought to ledge. And uh, you do not want Cloud this up close to you if you're Wildfire Absolutely and trying not. to keep their distance. Sharp is not having any of it, Dara. The way that Sharp is positioning themselves around the stage is so efficient, I've got to say. Um, the way that they treat the ledge whenever they set up edge guards, even if they do miss these four leaders, they miss the two frame downer attempts, they're always putting themselves back onto the stage so that they can continue to perpetuate their advantage in safe ways rather than overcommitting. The way that Sharp is playing, it's just they're able to put hitboxes out without actually ever committing to them too hard. See that 143 wildfire is going to have to deal with this uh, with this cloud one way or another. And yeah, it's uh, it's so hard when you have the Levin Sword and you can't even get in range without getting smacked with the buster like you just saw there. Sharp, again, remaining tranquilo and remaining on top, sitting at 84%, all three stocks intact. Who gets the back there for a bit of stage control. Oh. That's a good idea, but I like that patience. Um, that Wildfire put in before immediately buffering, um, you know, the get-up option. You know, as much of a, uh, you know, mix-up opportunity there is for the options that you put in, timing mix-ups are so important so that you make the most out of that invulnerability. Um, and you can really throw people off the rhythm. So I feel like that's something that a lot of people have to be a little bit more cognizant of. Wildfire is going to get stage control now, and building off of that, I'd have to say that you, this is the time to take the stock. You want to get mm -hmm. them to use that, uh, ah, yeah, even they with did the it. limit. Look at that, you got it. <laughs> even if, that was Sharp recognizing, wait a second, I think I've had the stock for a little bit too long. Oh. I'm gonna pineapple oh. myself. Wildfire stringing along 43% already. Robin with Levin Sword just does unspeakable, unholy amounts of damage. Yeah, and that's wow. the, I mean, that, those are the things that you kind of have to hang on to, especially when Sharp gets on a roll. Such a fundamentally sound player. Someone who, I mean, they maybe, whether or not they enjoy, uh, you know, Wi-Fi, you can't deny their their efficacy on this, uh, on this mode. And it just goes with uh, how good of a player they fundamentally are. This uh, offline Sheik and Joker main has been going so many characters throughout this era. The fact that, Sh that Cloud is among them just means that they are all the more dangerous for whenever offline comes back or indeed... Oh, that pressure. Oh, oh dashing back like that pressure. is so scary. Yeah. Uh, Sharp has so much momentum. Sharp just has been conditioning this entire game. Wave lands and falls down with an uphill. Look at the way that they're waiting onto the platforms, always waiting for Wildfire's next defensive option. Wildfire, gotta say, they're playing a little bit spooky right now, but still able to get the jump call out. Ah, oh, limit climb hazard disappearing at the worst possible moment. Yeah, I mean, it's not like it helped them on their first stock, so uh, take that for what it's worth. But Sharp, still in decent position to close this one out. Maybe trying to uh, fake reading these uh, these smash attacks, trying to draw Wildfire in. But That's that it. is one way to put it out. The cross slash connects in mid-stage and Sharp. Staying sharp, staying alert, and staying on top of things in top 64. They're going to go up 1-0. to nil. Wildfire with the counter pick, Dara. Wildfire not faring all that poorly, all things considered, in game number one. Though, yeah, straight up got caught in the jump here. Yeah, that's that's really what cross slash is for as a move. Okay, first of all, you know, doing an empty short hop like that to buffer an option from Wildfire is so good. Because a lot of people immediately after, like... You know, you land close to their shield, you hit their shield, whatever. They'll always try to, you know, either punish it or reposition themselves instead of sometimes just waiting in shield. So Sharp 
showed it up, baited out, you know, the jump out of shield and did what Kuao Slush is supposed to do. And that's catch people in jump squat, catch people in the middle of the jump. It has a huge vertical hitbox um, in front of Cloud. That was so well played by Shalup. Shalup, man, this dude, this dude's such a menace. I love, I love watching his play. I sincerely love watching him play. You know, I think everybody can always take something home uh, after watching one of his sets. I mean, if you're talking about the people that are going to be the most intriguing to watch once uh, offline truly comes back in full swing, I'd have to put Sharp in that top five because I can only imagine their ascent to the New England's elite has been uh, steady and methodical. I, I mean, it has to only be exasperated by things like this, learning how to play so many different characters, being so fundamentally good at the game and how this thing operates. An absolute Swiss army knife. Does not matter what character they pull out. They have a decent chance of winning as Wildfire is learning here on Town and City. This is their counter pick, but not being able to make as much of a use of the magic as uh, of the tomes as maybe they'd like here. Mm -hmm. I had a great oh. catch on the jump once again back here. You're not going to be able to steal at that stock, but you see exactly what I mean. Sharp is so efficient in the edge guarding, in the ledge trapping, that, you know, even if the down air doesn't connect, they've timed it in such a way that they get back onto the stage before wildfire and they continue their advantage. So, you know, the way that the way that Sharp does it, he's just so good at that. Gotta say, the wildfire doing a good job to stay alive for as long as they have. It earns them only 30 mm -hmm. more points on uh, Sharp's health bar, but nevertheless, uh, you know, health bar being a metaphorical term in this instance, but regardless, back to, uh, back to Omega form as it were. Sharp trying, missing with the forward air there. Wildfire rolls back in, but I mean, the conditioning from Sharp, it's like, if it looks like they're reading uh, Wildfire's mind, I mean, they kind maybe of they are. This I'm point. not gonna yeah. put it out of the, oh, oh the possibility, God. but the F smash, Wildfire looks like they're in quicksand compared to Sharp right now. Yeah, uh, Smash, such a killer. We'll kill you so early. And just like that, you are now being ledge trapped by Cloud with Limit on. This is a not good position to be in at all. Look at the way that Sharp is tech chasing. Oh no, that didn't kill. I'm so sad. That Finishing was so touch high. on the platform, but the F Smash and Sharp contains the wildfire and snuffs it out. That is a three stock victory. Didn't even get into triple digits. And that is a statement game from Sharp. That was so cool. I just hope everybody recognizes how cool that advantage state is. How many like, like leads went into that. The positioning from Sharp dropping through the platform to, you know, input the finishing touch. Yo. This dude is insane. He is so good at this game. <laughs> I mean, d how good do you have to be to confidently drop through the platform on Wi-Fi? Let's That's... just talk about that. I could go on a whole rant about yeah. that, nevertheless. But Sharp, and I mean, it was not for a lack of effort on Wildfire's part that they lost that game. I would say that they played downright good, but Sharp conditioning them so well. Yeah. Sharp's and conditioning there's not a whole lot you can do if you're mm -hmm. wildfire there. Sharp's conditioning, but especially the positioning, um, is really what truly really makes him as a player. And obviously, you know, he goes through such strong leads in his advantage state. His ability to juggle though and like choosing when to reset, when to keep on going, um, is just as incredible as well. Oh, that finishing touch was so close to killing. I'm I'm actually a little bit upset that it didn't do it for him because he had the right idea, it looked cool, it was an amazing shooting, and then it didn't do it. Tragedy. There's Absolute there's, tragedy. You know, Dar, there's always the chance that we'll get to see something like that later on as Sharp mm -hmm. will remain in winner's side. But until then, I'd like to thank you all for rocking out with us here.